Well, uh, I can't hear Lee. A bear, I have a scope of this. I a cartical air at a balaha on Shahino. Con a mosalero, the lacre more in the heaven. I can smell them the more on Kashta at a man in the heaven. Magan Kashti Kashu Lishin, Ta Gakshan Sound, Gomer Daru Dinta, and the lacre a has on fold. Our son Neherden. Today we gather to commemorate and appreciate and acknowledge one of our volunteers who died for Ireland, died for us, the people of Ireland, so that we would have control of our own destiny, that we would be able to develop our full potential and that we would be able to take our place among the nations of the world. Tommaso D is one of those thousands of people down through the years who never gave up in their pursuit of Irish freedom and Irish independence. It's very important to remember the sacrifices which they made on our behalf. And it would be wrong of us not to commemorate them and keep their memory alive. Because if we did not, we would not be a nation worthy of those sacrifices. If we look back on the times in which Tommaso D lived, you are aware, no doubt, that he joined, like thousands of other young men, the British Army. And when he was developed in 1918, he returned to his native place. But he did learn when fighting on the fields of France all those years ago, that when he was told he was fighting for the liberty of small nations, and then heard that the leaders and others of 1916 rebellion had been executed, he then fully understood that as a small nation, Ireland was not benefiting from the sacrifices which those young men who joined the British Army made back in those years. When he returned to Ireland, he saw how the Irish people were being humiliated by the oppressor back at that time. He saw how they were being harassed and killed and made to feel like inferiors in their own land. And he realized, like many young Irish people, men and women, at that particular time, that was important to organize, to take a stand, to be trained, and be prepared to fight the might of the British Empire, because this was truly right versus might back at that particular time. And of course, the training which he would have got in the British Army, and it happened with so many other Irish men when they came back after being demobbed. That training was put to good use at that time. But they experienced such brutality that it would not be possible to uh, explain it to young people of this day. The brutality of the black and tans, the brutality of all the agents of the British power were directed against innocent people, people who were demanding nothing more than control of their own destiny. How sad it was that we found ourselves in that position but they fought bravely, and they fought courageously at that time. And they were determined that no matter what happened, they would continue that fight, even if the ultimate sacrifice was required, as it was for so many of them. But we think back on many of the people who we can now read about today, and realize the great achievement which they had on our behalf back in the War of Independence. I often feel that we gave great encouragement to other countries as well. Only a few weeks ago, 
I was invited to address the Indian Society in Ireland. And I made reference in that speech when I was making it to the sacrifice of Terence McSweeney. There is no doubt but that he inspired other people in other countries also to stake a stand. Because as we've often heard, it's not those who inflict the most, but those who suffer the most in the end are successful. And that was true in this case. So when we come to honor and to recollect Tomas D, we do so because we realize that he could have had a full life. He could have realized his full potential. He was not a mercenary in the war of independence. He was a true patriot, and he realized the danger in which he was placing himself. And when he joined the 3rd Tipperary Brigade, one of the most active brigades in the War of Independence, he also understood that the enemy would seek them out as they've often done in the past. I'm not going to dwell on the Civil War aspect of his life. That is already well documented because I do believe we're now living in a time of opportunity for Ireland. And we should seize that opportunity because never was there a greater chance that we could achieve the dream of Tomas O'Dea and all the other patriots of the past by uniting all the people of this island irrespective of politics, irrespective of religion, irrespective of tradition, irrespective of class, we can now have the opportunity of uniting them all. I know that there will be many milestones on that road, and you know that as well. There will be many difficulties on that road also, but bear in mind, one of the greatest milestones of all, the Good Friday Agreement, indicates to us that what sometimes seems like the impossible can be achieved. Why was it achieved? Why were people of different persuasions, different political backgrounds and affiliations, why were they prepared to come together? What was the chemistry which united them at that time? I'm not going to go through the names, but they came from all traditions in the north of Ireland. They came from Britain, and they also Bill Clinton, the President of the United States. But look what they achieved. I know there may be a hiccup at the present time, but that will be overcome. Now, if we are to move forward, a new language may be required to express ourselves. Yes, there may be compromises required as well, but if we all work for the common good of the people on this island, supported by the Irish diaspora, 70 million people throughout the world, and the goodwill which we have generated in Europe and the rest of the world, nothing is really impossible. It is time now for us all to come out of the long time bunkers, out into the sunshine of opportunity, and if we truly want to commemorate and celebrate Tomas D and other patriots who we do commemorate and remember, we should do so by achieving the final aims which they set out to achieve. So as we gather here today <coughs> on this inclement day and compliment you all for turning out and particularly pay tribute here to the pipe band because really and truly you are a credit to what you do and you are a credit to your community and a credit to Ireland. But we gather here today for one purpose and one purpose only.